free holiday. <laughs> well, don't throw out that antique stove or sell it in a garage sale. Yeah, there's a business in Stockton that can give it new life. Joshua Lawson, owner of Buckeye Appliance, joins us with more on how it's done. Okay, so Joshua, I have to ask you, do you have the 50s yes. O'Keefe and Merritt's? Yes. Right oh! Ding, 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 ding. I love those. I love those. I asked because my grandmother had one. Oh. We wanted to bring it back to our house, but it was gonna, I mean, it was going to be kind of expensive to have it redone and, and put it into a, a new home. Is it as easy as it sounds? No. If it was, everybody would be doing <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why we have you. <laughs> Joshua, what makes this particular right. appliance so special? Uh, well, this is a O'Keefe and Merritt from the 1950s. It's got two ovens. Yep. I love that. Mm. It's got six burners, chrome top, red red knobs and handles, which are really rare. It's just a great stove that's going to last longer than I will. So. <laughs> <laughs> now I've been to Buckeye Appliance several times, my friend. Yes. And when I go in, I find it is like a black hole because you never want to leave. You look at these things <laughs> and you, you suck us in. Uh, but I, I notice when I go in there, there's so much chrome, I feel like I'm looking at like some sort of hot rod. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of did that with the stoves to, to match what the cars look like. Everything in the mm. 50s was chrome. You had chrome tables. They just loved chrome back then. So you refurbish a lot of the, the older uh, appliances, and is that kind of my, what you, you, you major in that, for lack of a better term, you specialize in this? Yes, we specialize in uh, stoves from 1890 to 1955, wow. and we can restore them for you, or if you just need them fixed, we can fix them also. So do you also have parts? That, let's say, for example, someone wants to try to restore their own. Good luck with that. <laughs> but if they do, do you have parts available as well? Yes, we have parts available. Uh, we can get stuff re-chromed, re-porcelain, and then we have tens of thousands of parts for these stoves. So if I can't get it or fix it for you, you're probably not going to get it done. With a lot of folks going back to gas, especially in the last five years, it, it, are you getting a lot of requests for refurbishing and, and to purchase some of these older gas stoves and ovens? Yeah, we get a lot from people that are restoring houses, especially in the nice older neighborhoods in Sacramento. They're putting the money into the house, so they're going to put the money into the kitchen, and they want everything to look, period, so they, they go with an old stove. and The stoves just last longer uh, than anything you can buy today. I'm telling you, I got have such an there. affinity for the old school 50s, 60s kitchens, because obviously that makes me think of my grandmother and yeah, her absolutely. cooking and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a feeling you're going to be quite busy, sir. Lots of people trying to take it back. Back in the time. Yeah. Well, uh -oh. well we hope so. That's we, hope we, so. we like to be busy. Yeah. Well, your phone's ringing. Your phone's ringing, Joshua. We don't yeah. want to keep you. Mm. <laughs> go. go get that phone, man. Make a sale. Make right. a sale. Thanks, That's Joshua. Good stuff, buddy. Thanks, Ben. All right, thank what, you. What are you going to do with two ovens and six burners? Listen, what are you going to do? I will make it rain <laughs> in the kitchen. We'll have all kinds of carbs going. It is. Biscuits. I'm telling you, <laughs> you should go into Greens. that place. It is amazing. You uh, should go to that place because, like, it's it's seriously. He has it's more like, than just that. He has like, yeah, like everything. Yeah, all in 